Today, I'll be showing you guys how to create this holographic animated background in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so once you get into your timeline, the very first thing we're going to do is go to this little paper icon and we're going to go to color mallet. Make sure it is 1920 by 1080 and click OK. And then make sure this color is completely black and then we're just going to click OK and then OK a final time. You should see it appears in the media browser. So we're just going to drag this color mallet right onto our timeline. And then we're just going to extend it out to about 10 seconds. You can make it longer or shorter depending on how long you want the animation to be. The very first effect we're going to grab is the grid. So once we have the grid here, we're just going to drag the grid right onto our color mallet. We're going to scroll down to the grid. We're going to change the corner to 1120 and 650. Next up, we're going to go back up to the effects panel and we're going to type in 3D. And then we're just going to drag this basic 3D effect onto our color mallet. And we're going to scroll down on our effects panel and change the tilt to 70. Next, we're just going to scroll up back up to our effects control panel and go to the motion tab. And we're going to change the scale to 125. Then we're going to change the second number, the 540 to 312. Next up, we're going to go back up to the effects panel and we're going to type in offset. And then we're just going to drag this offset effect right onto our layer. And we're just going to scroll down on our effects control panel until we see the offset and make sure you grab this offset effect and drag it right above the basic 3D. Otherwise, this effect won't work. So we're just going to start off by creating a keyframe for the shift center two, and then we're going to drag the tracer just before the layer finishes. And then we're going to change the 540 to negative 970. And then we're just just going to grab this keyframe and drag it to the very end of our layer. Once we created that animation, we're going to go up to the effects and we're just going to type in glow. And then we're going to grab this VR glow effect and drag it right onto our layer. Then we are just going to change some of the variables for the VR glow. For the luma threshold, we're just going to make it 0.30. For the glow radius, we're just going to make it 46. For the glow brightness, we're going to make it 5.5. And for the saturation, we're just going to make it 8.5. And the final thing we're going to do is just press on the VR our glow press ctrl c and then just press ctrl v and you can see that layer has been duplicated and you can see that that glow effect is intensified next up we're just going to add some directional blur so just go up to the effects and type in that directional blur and we're just going to drag it right onto our layer once again we're just going to scroll down on our effects control panel and then we are just going to grab this little square icon and then we're going to adjust it accordingly so we're going to grab the bottom one and we're going to drag it right below where this animation is beginning on both sides and then we're going to grab the top layers and then we're just going to adjust them a little bit after where they start just to create some more depth in between this animation we're going to put the mass feather up to 70 and then we're going to do the blur length to 510. now we're just going to have to create the same effect on the bottom half of this layer so all we're going to have to do is grab our layer we're going to hold alt and drag up on our mouse key and just release on our mouse key and you can see we created a duplicate layer we're just going to click on that duplicate layer and go up to the effects panel and just type in vertical go down to transform and you can see vertical flip and then we're just going to double click on that and then you can see we've inverted our layer so all we're going to have to do is go up to the motion tab and then we're just going to change this position from 540 to 940 and then it does seem a little too close for comfort i do want a little bit of extra black space in between here so we're just going to go down to the first layer we created and then we're going to change the position right here from 312 to 216 and you can see we've created a little more space in between here and then the next step we're just going to have to drag and hold on our mouse and select both of these layers we're going to right click and go to nest it doesn't matter what you name it i'm just going to leave it as nest 01 and once you create that nest layer we're just going to select that we're going to go up to the effects and then we're going to type in tint we're just going to double click on that tint and then over in the effects controls panel we're going to change this black map to black we're going to change it map to white and then you can just change this color to your desired color you want for me i'm just going to do a bright green and then the final step is just going up to the effects panel and then typing in noise we're just going to go under the noise and green and just double click on the noise effect and then we're just going to go to the noise effect in the effects control panel i personally like to do a high noise amount so i normally do 15 but you can just play around with it and see what you like but nonetheless that's how you create this holographic animated background now if you want to learn how to make this animated background go ahead and click on the video that is on the right of your screen that's everything for me guys peace out